What is up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley, and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of, God damn it, for Libra, for November 2020. Take what resonates, leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to your story, because they are specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information for how to reach me in a reading in the description box down below. If you like the content that I make or would like to support me, please go smash the like and subscribe button. Without any further ado, I have already gone and pulled your cards off camera like always for you, Libra. So let's get right into the reading. We got the Knight of Coins, Judgment Major Arcana, Nine of Wands. So the Knight of Coins represents a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be, energy in your life um, representing somebody that is trying very hard to forge forward with his path with patience. Um, he is somebody that is, of all the star signs, he is kind of the most steadfast knight where he understands that his time is subjective and the goals that he wants is kind of like the tortoise and the hare. He is somebody that um, really understands that his time is subjective to him and he can't measure his success based off other people. So to say, um, let's say your best friend has his dream house and dream car and dream job in 10 years and it takes you 20 that is perfectly fine to this Knight of Coins because he understands that he is going to be putting in the work to get there. Um, so there is this kind of stubbornness with this where he is on his way to get there and he is going to get there eventually. Um, all knights do turn into kings, so he is going to get there eventually. Judgment card represents major kind of energy of a renewal, of a second chance, um, kind of being karmically judged. It is something that is a rebirth of a situation. So I kind of feel like there is, the Nine of Wands is the outcome. It's doing the same thing over again. Um, kind of being planned for this. It's a continuations card, and it is also a card that kind of suggests there might be some sort of struggle. So I feel like the time, this, the, the thing that I'm hearing is that there might have been a period of time, Libra, where you were kind of, I don't want to say that you were out of the game, and I don't want to say that you had lost focus on your goals completely, although that might be possible. I think that you just might have been on a different path than you needed to be. And I feel like, I don't want to say that you stopped your progress but I feel like there was a lot going on that you kind of understand is going to be the same old fight, different day. Um, and that could be either a relationship or a job. It's your understanding that you have to rise above it at the end of the day. And the car the the advice with the Knight of Wands is it's kind of the card of the crazy. Where, you know, the example that they give you for um, if you do the same thing over and over again, expecting the same results. That is the definition of crazy. That is kind of this card. If you don't want to see this go the same way, change the way that you play the game and the game will change. Um, it doesn't have to be this continuation uh, of something so um, oppressive. And I don't, I don't want to say that it is um, something that is trapping you. What I think that this is, is it was something that is hard to deal with and it could be the line of work that you're doing it could be a relationship but you are continuing down that path after I think that you might have stopped doing it for some time um, because like the judgment card kind of says like there's a second calling to this and then I see a continuation so I kind of think that you are choosing to go ahead with plans to continue pursuing this thing even though it might be hard um, so that is the gist of this. I'm going to ask where this goes for you after the Nine of Wands. Where does the situation go for Libra after the Nine of Wands? Okay, so we got it. <laughs> we did get it in the reverse, but everything was reversed, so it does come up right. The Ten of Wands. This is a situation that you are aware of. Um, the reason that I think that you paused in this, I think that you did take a break from this for at least some period of time. You didn't make... For some of you, that might not resonate. But I feel like the reason that you did is because you are aware that it is an oppressive situation. There is a lot to carry. There is a lot of burden to carry with this. But this is a conscious choice that you are specifically making with the Knight of Coins, saying that you are choosing to get back into this. Now I'm going to ask why, because <laughs> I'm a little curious. Um, why is Libra choosing to get back into something that they know is oppressive with the Ten of Wands? Because you want the answers to something that you don't know. There's a situation to this where you want to continue on 
having this burden in your life because you don't fully know all the answers to something. Um, I get, okay, let's get a little, more, a little bit more specific. What are the answers that they are looking for with the moon? What is this burden? What are the, the answers? <laughs> you basically want to know. Before I say this, let me channel it. Burden, I'm understanding your situation. You want the answers to success. You want to know how to get to success. And I feel like the only way that you feel like you can get to success is going through hardship. I think that you are trying to figure out yourself more. I feel like you are trying to really understand who you are as a person and what you need and what the answers to your situation is that you need. I think that you are trying to find... This hard work that you're doing is probably something that is maybe less so a relationship and a job and more so inner work. I feel like you are doing something, and I don't specifically know what that could be, but it is something that you are specifically doing that is going to be hard for you. So it might be doing your own inner shadow work or demon work in order to find the answers that you need to yourself as to why things are happening the way that they are continuing all the time. I think you are trying to stop this cycle. I think that you are trying to find the things that are going to make you happy in the success. The answers that you want is how do I have the success? And the only way that you think that you are going to get there, and this you would be accurate, is by doing your own inner shadow work. So I think that you are going through hell and high water to find that and I think that this is an incredibly brave spread I feel like you stopped doing this for some time um, because you really it was hard and it is going to be hard but let me ask if you get to the destination that you are looking for when you get this because I think it's going to be a good card it's not <laughs> I shot myself in the foot it is not be careful with trapping yourself into believing that you are a certain way because other people are telling you that you are supposed to be a certain way and that you are this person, that you are bad, that you are this, that you do have these issues. I think that the whole reason that you are doing this and looking for this is because you are trying to, you are looking for the answers to something that other people are giving you these answers already. So having, I, I really, like, yes, this is a card of self-doubt and anxieties. This is a card about trapping yourself in them. But I am specifically getting a very specific feel that the reason that this is happening um, is because you are trapping yourself into this because other people are telling you that you are a certain way. Now, I don't have really any cards that specify that. I am just feeling that. So for some of you, it is going to be like that. For others, you might just be trapping yourself into, I think that you might be a, a bit of a perfectionist. Um, and I think that you, there is a large amount of anxiety here where you are trapping yourself into something almost in a way to self-sabotage your own success and your own happiness. I think that you might, I, I definitely think that you're trying to sabotage your own success and your own happiness. Um, be it whether you are consciously aware of that or not, whether you are allowing other people to do that for you and to tell you who you are, I think that you are telling yourself that you are something that you are not. And I think you are trying to look for those answers. The problem with this is that you don't fully 100% trust in yourself and you 100% don't fully believe that you are, I'm hearing a good person, that you are a certain way, um, that you want to change the way that you are. And here's the thing with this. You can 100% change the way that you're doing things. And, okay, this is, I'm, I'm hearing this specifically. Um, it might resonate with some of you. It might not. Um, it's definitely going to resonate with somebody because I'm saying it and it has to. Um, there's no way that, that's not how that works. When I hear something, it is meant for someone. Um, so the thing that my therapist tells me, because God knows I need it, um, <laughs> And I'm going to leave it off on this. And I think that when you hear this, you'll understand what I'm trying to say. Is that a bad person doesn't try to look for the answers. They don't try to correct the answers with inside of themselves. Somebody that is a bad person doesn't actively try to get help for them. They aren't trying to do their shadow work. They aren't trying to reach out and to get more help because they don't care. A bad person doesn't care. So if you are in that mindset where you think that you're being judged, that people view you a certain way, 
in that um, you are a bad person or you're something lacking because other people say so. First of all, fuck society. Fuck what people tell you. The only thing that you need to be listening to you is yourself. And the problem with that is that you are listening to other people and allowing it to become your own reality. And you cannot continue doing that if you want your own success. You are not a shitty person. I'm getting that very strongly that you feel that way about yourself and you are not. Do not allow other people's opinions of you weigh in on your own opinion of yourself. And that is where the hard work is going to come into play because this is going to be a battle for you. But you can win it. You can win all of your fucking battles by changing the way that you respond to your situation. All right, Libra, I love you. I'll see you on the flip side. Peace out.